It's Worldview Wednesday here on LifeWords Day by Day. In 2016, North Carolina passed a law that stated people had to use the bathrooms matching the gender on their birth certificate. Well, this offended the LGBTQ community. In response, quote, the NCAA disqualified North Carolina from hosting the neutral site championship events for the 2016-17 academic year, unquote. Similar boycotts by other sports organizations and companies and entertainers cost North Carolina hundreds of millions of dollars worth of business. In a basketball-crazed state, losing events such as the NBA All-Star Game and the big NCAA Tournament Games was also a blow to the residents' pride. So seeking to win back business, the state lawmakers repealed the law on March the 30th. The peer pressure of the prevailing culture was too much for the lawmakers' morality. Make no mistake, the gravitational pull of culture is a difficult force with which to contend for any amount of time. The desire to be liked by others, to be well thought of, not to be outside the norm, the desire to be up with the times, the desire not to lose any money, shapes what we think more so than we would like to admit. It also reveals our worldview. But when it comes to living a life of holiness and godliness, when it comes to how we deal with one another in the church and others in the world, we have to know that our value system will be countercultural. Isaiah chapter 55 and verses 8 and 9, it says this, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts your thoughts. That passage is not meant to make us feel helpless in understanding the mind of God, but to encourage us and warn us that if God's, God's thoughts are not like those of humans and God's ways are not like those of humans, then when it comes to God's people who seek and strive to know God, then their thoughts and ways will not look like the world's ways either. As you pray today, please remember Oscar Guyton and his family, our changemaker missionaries in Nicaragua. And also remember the Afrikaans LifeWord broadcast that's heard throughout South Africa.